Welcome back to another basic Game Maker Studio tutorial. And this time I'm gonna do something which is kind of common practice, but maybe you've heard about them, seen them in some code portions, but you don't really know what they are good for. So this is for you guys who don't know or are just unclear about the exit statement and the break statement. So if you want to know that, stay tuned. This is 1UP Indie, I am the developer of the indie game Clunky Source and a programmer slash pixel artist. So if you're new here and you want more, consider subscribing to my channel because I upload every day a video and ring that bell if you can. So what you're seeing on the screen on the top right is my frames per second which are between 1 to 2000, uh, which is okay, it's not optimized but it's definitely good enough and for example let's put in an object which I call just object spam and that thing is doing what its name is it's just spamming and let's start the game and it will tank my performance significantly really significantly so what you're seeing now two to three hundred frames which is a very very hard drop overall which is not too good so basically you just have to imagine how can you kind of save resources when you can. So for example, let's say you are having an enemy and that enemy is um, not always there. And for example, if it's not always there, you don't need to do some checks, I don't know, some checks of distance to him or if you can act, your other equipment is reacting to all the enemies and so on. And for example, if you want to not cancel a portion, but completely ignore it. This is how you can do it. For example, I just have it, let's say, object drop parent, but you can call that whatever you like. This is the thing which you're checking. And for example, if it's there, because then you don't want to update stuff, you just put in exit. And exit just simply means everything else here will be completely ignored. But the step event still works. But after that, all the code is being ignored and as you can see, my frame rate is good again, which is kind of nice. So this is what the exit statement is good. It's basically just canceling everything after that. And you can put that in every well event here. So it's basically canceling all the portions which you want to cancel. Or you can put, I don't know, into a script. And if you put in some exit, then let's say after here, bam, everything is getting ignored and the other thing is for example yeah this is a good example let's for example see this is the other thing which is break so break is basically just breaking out of a loop so you you can have different loops let's say a for loop or for example a switch it's not technically a loop but for example if you do a break statement then it will cancel that. But for example, if you know what a switch statement basically is just checking, taking in a value and then saying, hey, are you helmet one? No. Are you helmet two? No. Are you helmet three? No. But for example, if you are helmet four, then I don't know, you do this kind of command or whatever you put in, doesn't really matter. And then you put in break and then all the other stuff which is following, as you can see, lots of lots of entries are getting ignored. If you wouldn't put in break, then all the other stuff would be checked as well. And maybe you don't want that. And sometimes, I'm not sure about that one, um, if you are having some, some adjustments, maybe it will adjust some other stuff which you don't want. So basically, break is your friend here. And it's basically breaking out of this loop. Or for example here, if you put in break, or stop I'm not sure about that but break would I guess work as well then you're pretty much fine here so that was it hopefully that was of interest to you and you can use it to your advantage have a good one one up indie